Hey, how you doing, YouTubers? Jerry here. I'm going to be programming a Minotaur 3 pager today um, with the Minotaur 3.4 software. Uh, what you're going to need is uh, your charging cradle, of course. I mean, your. Um, it actually looks like a, um, a charger, the, uh, the dock, but it's not. Um, this has uh, three pins in it. I don't know if you can see it. I'm bring it here to the light. This has three pins in it. And, of course, the battery terminals at the back are not connected at all. This has three pins. Um, connects to the bottom of the pager. Through the uh, little pins on the bottom there. This here is a uh, Chester County pager. I don't know if you can see the... Uh, number probably not a little blurry but uh, is what you're going to want to do let me put this down for a minute you're going to want to put your pager on C the letter C turn it off hold down your squelch button and turn the pager back on you're going to hear that beep both lights come on and they go back off and that's what you're going to do that's that's on and it's in C mode you're going to take that and put that in the base uh, where's my mouse? Now what you're going to do is you're going to open up the Minotaur 3.4 PPS software. Which is right here. You can see it. I'm going to double click that and open that up. Just like that. And you're going to go over here. You're going to click on this little box right here where my mouse pointer is. And you're going to read the code plug for this pager. And this is all the information for this pager. This is general information, model number, serial number, band split, uh, injection is low, don't really know what that means, but yeah, uh, I have a low band pager and the injection on that is high. This here's your system information, um, you should have this set at user, even if you know your system. I have this set at Motorola because... I had it on user, but the tones, when I put them in here, the numbers were not matching up properly. So I had to put that back on Motorola so that they would match up uh, with my system's uh, tones. And uh, the F1 frequency is 160.185 megahertz. And uh, this pager is set at 159 through 166.999 megahertz. Uh, the on and off duty. Uh, we really don't mess with that. It's disabled and the duty calls are off. We really don't do that in this county. F2, 160 point, or actually, I'm sorry, 159.60 megahertz. Uh, that is going to be West Fire Ground. And there's no tones on that because they don't use tones on that frequency. Mode option. Everything is off except for the priority scan alert duration should be standard fixed alert is off uh, reset function is revert you don't want to really mess with that uh, the squelch tone level is going to be a set at 8 you don't really want to mess with that either otherwise you're going to have a lot of uh, squelch uh, once they are uh, off key these here are the switch a switch B switch C switch D and uh, this is the F1 channel uh, switch D is set on the F2 channel for monitoring uh, which is West fire so I'm able to hear units uh, going on you know on that um, on my fire pager now this is selective call uh, you switch it to A, and that'll be for your station alert. Which for my station right here, it's going to be station 28 in Parksburg. And I also have uh, Coatesville also in here. Uh, fire and ambulance. Parksburg fire and ambulance as well. Uh, I don't have a long tone programmed. Being that I run uh, ambulance and fire. And that's pretty much it for the uh, Minute or 3 software. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.